A system meant to raise the bar for how school districts measure student readiness is raising concerns. In March, almost 250 school districts across the state, including Austin ISD, sent a letter to the Texas Education Agency asking to delay the A to F accountability rating system change. KXAN's education reporter Nabil Ramadna explains. Next fall, the TEA is refreshing its A to F accountability ratings. As schools are improving, you know, uh, parents need to know that. And if, and if schools are, are are not, if they're regressing, then parents need to know that as well. TEA Commissioner Mike Morass says there are a number of changes coming, like updating cut points, which help distinguish between performance levels, and also adding new data online for easier access to parents. But that's not all. Narrow our focus um, uh, effectively on the most uh, at-risk kids to, to, to close achievement gaps most effectively. We're updating our overall district rating methodology. We are creating a unique evaluation system just for dropout recovery schools. But some changes are drawing concerns. Austin ISD believes accountability ratings could drop. We think that high schools will be impacted and districts across the state will be impacted because of a, a new proportional rating applied to districts rather than rating them as one big school. Now the district ratings will instead be a weighted average of all campuses in the district instead of combining all student scores. AISD says that updates to the cut scores for the college, career, and military readiness benchmark will also impact yes. scores. Now schools will have to perform at a much higher level to get the same accountability grades they had before. I think the challenge will be for districts and the Texas Education Agency to help explain that this might not be a, a change in performance, that actually students are doing as well as they did, but it's a resetting of the uh, accountability system. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. Now, the TEA says it is possible a campus with an A rating in 2022 may improve in 2023, but receive a B rating under the changes. The 2023 ratings will be released at the end of September.